Yeah, I can't believe you fainted. The whole thing was yeah. a, bit of a nightmare. But, you, but it's done. Bit of controversy in the car on the way over about whether you fainted for real or for not. Though. For real. She or fainted. Not real. <laughs> Faking her fainting? Yes. It's just a con it was a controversy. What's the upside of? I don't know. They thought she faked fainting. Who did? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm just they, they said, do you think it's real or not real? Oh god. I've got nothing else bitchy to talk about apart from me. I knew I should have got here earlier. You think maybe your friends would be supportive, or would that be too much to ask? And I hope that Brandy hasn't been part of it. What, what was I going to fake the swollen glands and fever as well? You know, I mean, I went yeah, straight really. to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? We were all just joking. It wasn't a bad thing. I'm Joyce sure you have my it. back. <laughs> no, I did. I said that you said you fainted. It was real. Also, I hurt my rotator cuffs. So what's this? Yeah. So I hear you guys think after all this time you've known me. Brandy said I that. Didn't say that. I, I, said there, I said there was a conversation fainting. about the said, fainting. No, I haven't even seen it. She hasn't I, I have to watch it. I don't fake anything. I haven't even seen it. I said that you don't look like a faker, but I wanted to see she it because everybody that. was talking about it. I said you Who look said honest. That? Who just said this? I said, and there was a conversation on that you said. said. You should show it to me right now, so I could see it. I actually don't want to see it again. Thank no. you. No, I didn't start the conversation. Oh, I thought you. I did not start okay. the conversation. I haven't even seen it, so I can't say anything. The last thing I need is more problems with Lisa. Why are you trying to put the blame on me? Thanks, Brandy. Brandy said you did fall beautiful. You did like a soap opera. I'm gonna have a look outside with Grace. Anyway, at least we've got that little issue cleared up, right? Hey, Lisa. And she's irritated. Don't be upset. I feel really crappy about talking in the limo about Lisa fainting. It came out really kind of bitchy. Confessional. A confessional. A priest is in there. That confessional has seen quite a bit of action, not just from me or David. Cool, I want to confess. Come, go, go. Uh, let's let's do it. Confessional. Oh my gosh. Brandy, you're going to be in there a while. <laughs> I actually don't sin that much, but when I do, they're good ones. That's oh, the that's person in there, right? I've too many secrets. <laughs> yeah. I love all your magic. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. There's a ball theme going on. What, what, what do you balls balls? represent? There's a couple of words for them. They're witches' balls or Victorian balls. They just they grab negative energy and they trap it. Oh, we love that. Mine would be chock full of those in my house. <laughs> well, have you ever explored with witchcraft? Really? <laughs> Kyle with the bloody dumb question. It's bloody rude. No, I don't know if that means like fun witchcraft. You want to find out about me, get to know me. But don't try and shock value me in front of people I don't know. I know how that shit works. I've known girls like you. I mean, I don't like mean cast a spell or fly in a broom. Yes, I'm a witch, Wicca, which is what I practice. The white side, which is mother nature, all encompassing, is truly about the miracles that exist on this planet. I have a friend who is a giant, like, she is a witch. Yeah, I have one What too. does a witch really mean, though? I think no, like no, a she's broom just, she's and she's a wart no, on no, the end of her nose. I have been involved in Wicca since seven years old. My grandmother was practicing, and my mom, she was psychic. Well, I believe in spirits, but it doesn't mean right. I'm a witch. Well, no, my, no, ma witch. our mom Wait. used to say she was a witch. You believe in my spirits? mom used to say she was a witch. <laughs> Have I practiced dark? I have practiced dark. But now, I practice light. And that's all I practice, because I have children. I would never go to the dark side. Not again. Didn't mom used to always say that? What? She said, well, I'm a witch. I know everything. I think she did that to, like, scare us. <laughs> there are a couple of witches in our group, but I don't think Carlton's one of them. Can I have a look around? Yeah. I love this feeling, though. It feels like a, a church feeling. Like, yeah, you know. I wanted, um, the idea was, that we wanted to have kind of the, the church, the castle feel. So then I made it gothic. This is our boudoir. Okay, that looks like... Oh, that is... Uh oh that says cute. a lot about Carlton. Oh, my God. Really? Uh -oh. what, how Carlton. many people are in here? Let's Sexy see hexy. You could do some crazy things on that bed, I'm sure. I'm going to get one when I'm rich. Oh, yeah. my God, we could all sleep in there. Yes. That is huge. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't you feel well, guilty having sex with a cross above your bed? No. No, 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> I really would not want to have a cross hanging above my bed like someone's watching down on me. This house makes you want to get the Ouija board out. Maybe it is a little unusual to have this kind of gothic architecture where I come from in England. It's really quite common, but this is taking it to a whole new level. Why don't you go in the middle of the kitty cat? But I'm, I'm not sitting here, just so you know. I don't actually like heads of table or any right. silly sh so. So one of us has to, because we're an odd number. Please. Please, go ahead. Well, yes. here. well I mean, she was like, it's all stop. I think it's really pompous for me in my home to sit at the head of the table and have all of my little ladies sit either side of this table. I don't do that. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Well, this feels incredibly awkward. <laughs> I'm assuming that Carlton's gonna sit there and, you know, play the queen bitch, but she kind of left it for somebody else. <laughs> um, thanks, baby. I see all these pretty women running around. The hot girls. Oh, a lot of hot girls in the house. There's a blue dress that just went back. Oh, and there's another girl. The, um, Elise's the blonde in the blue dress. She's my nanny for my son. Oh. I believe in having a hot nanny for my son. Really? Yes. She's funny. She has, like, stuff in that makes my toes curl. My humor makes your toes? Because I have toilet humor, <laughs> yes, that's, that's why. why. It's funny because I was on vacation and Cindy Crawford was in our group and she was like, she had the hottest nanny. I asked her, I said, why do you have why? such a hot nanny? Are you not worried? Like, because I would be worried for my ex-husband. And she was Brandy. I have to look at her, too. Yeah. Because I want him to know There's no 200 pound minimum in this house? No. Uh, bon appetit, guys. I am so hungry. I'm going to take a bite. Uh, me too. <laughs>